if you're going to do a paid newsletter, where do you draw the line in the sand between what paying members get and free subscribers get? The number one thing I would say is don't push too much value behind the paywall early. We see people who launch a paywall when they have like 100 subscribers. So building a creator product or becoming a creator is very much like trying to start a company or start a startup. And in that early phase, don't think about growth or monetization. You are value hacking. You are trying to deliver value value to a very specific audience. And you have to get to a point where you've established that. And you really shouldn't be thinking about referral programs or what your price of your subscription will be before that. So I think that is one of the things we see very common. And then in terms of like, let's say you're, you're further along, you have 5,000, 10,000 email lists, hundreds of paid subscribers, you're really testing, feeling out where to put the paywall, what to put behind, what to put in front, how to spend your time really. And there, I think there is no right answer. You have to go into it with an open mind and flexibility and test, listen to your customers and gradually draw the line. I think our customer with the most paying subscribers has no distinction between free and paid. You get the same experience. How he frames the subscription is look at what your contribution is supporting and it works incredibly well for him.